You know what's so funny? Yeah. Is that this is it's a podcast that we're both so excited for right now and so hyped up about. And it's the worst it's fucking the worst topic. Fucking... <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Anything More, Anything Goes. My name is Miguel. I'm Brendan. Folks, today we're talking about uh, Zendaya's new movie, Challengers, mm. which was a surprise in multiple different ways. Yeah. You ready to play our favorite game? Yes. Uh, Challengers. What was the budget? Uh, I don't think there was really any CG in it, but there could have been for the wider shot. So I'm I mean, it could have just been I'm for the go fucking s- techno music. Why they they only had one song? <laughs> How expensive could it be? I'm gonna go sixty. Fifty five. Okay. Opening weekend. What is it looking like? Uh, opening weekend. Uh, I looked today and it was on number five on trending for movies. So I'm gonna go with forty. Fifteen. Oh no! This is the first movie that I think we've watched since I started this podcast. Yeah. Where I genuinely don't know if it was good or not. I mean, I got to tell you off the bat, I fucking loved it. I had a surprising amount of fun. There were definitely a lot of weird artsy, some really weird artistic decisions in terms of shots and soundtrack and backing music I that think- I like in the beginning. I hated, but then I kind of fucked with the more. I happened. hated all of it at the beginning. Like I felt like the acting and everything was terrible was in the beginning. Good. And yeah. as the movie went on, they all got better or I was just more invested in it. Okay. So let's talk about the worst part. And that to me is the pacing, uh, the jumping back and forth. It does they not do- work well. No, it this. doesn't. No, they, they try so hard to be like, this was 13 years ago. This yeah. is the present day. This was three years ago, but it's, it's from scene to scene. So yeah. instantaneously, so you're like, all right, her hair's short. Now her hair's long. Now her hair's medium. Her hair's short again. I'm confused. Now she fucked this guy. She fucked this guy again. Wait a second. It's been 10 years. I'm confused. Yeah. It, it, it really just fucked up the pacing and following everything. And it's also like, you can't give me the same dudes and the same person and be like, oh, look, they're 18 in this shot. And then I changed her wig. So now she's... 37. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. Because, like, I thought it was going to be like, oh, we're, like, 22 here, and we're, like, yeah. 35 here. No, they're like, where were kids? What were we, like, 16? We were all making out in this hotel room. Now we're 35. We have a kid. We have a kid, These and I'm a tennis like, player. I'm ready to retire. Yeah, like, you look the fucking same. You look exactly. <laughs> you took off the wig. What, what does that mean? What was really funny is there was a point in the movie where I'm looking at them like, wow, they really got actors? We're nailing both of these ages. And then I got like 15 minutes further. What the fuck is going on? Okay, so from a story standpoint, right, the overarching story is it's two dudes that are friends and they want to be professional tennis players. And then they meet a a famous tennis player chick. She gets hurt. They continue to chase her in different ways. And then even when you think, oh, she's married now, they have a kid, she still goes and and fucks the other dude. Yeah, well, because she's... The whole thing of the movie is... Patrick and Arthur. Is these two dudes... No, I don't... That's wrong. (laughs) <laughs> One of these dudes is in love with this girl. Yes. The other dude really just wants to be with this girl because he lost out on something. And they don't really say it in there, but there's a yeah. lot of very intense vibes of, if she stayed with me, I'd have the career you had. Yeah. And there's a lot of jealousy and whatever in there. And her, it's really like, think that at some point she loved him, but not, I don't even think. not enough. And I think she just, just saw like a continuation of her career in a different yes, way in she, him. because she injured herself. And it, yeah. it's really her one true love was tennis. Yes. And his one true love was her. Yes. And the other guy just was like, you took my life. But at the same time, even from the beginning, the first night, one of them was just like, I'm trying to get my dick wet. And the other guy was like, I love you. And like, yeah. I, I love it, everything it about truly you. Truly two different ways of, of just guys falling for someone but with different views on what that really is. if you, there's definitely layers to this where you could get super in depth about relationships and and whatever but i don't feel like the movie meant to be that i don't think there was this underlying like of like this is what the male experience is of either thinking with this head or thinking with this head yeah it's definitely more like are the two guys together or are they not are they fucking zendaya or are they not so the weirdest thing with that was is that when they were younger the guy with the darker hair who patrick I patrick Definitely seemed like he liked Arthur more than he likes Zendaya's character. Yeah. But then when they got older, it didn't seem like that was there at all. Like that was, completely. It was weird because like if you if you try to look at it in chronological order. Yeah. There's a lot of, I'm not even going to say weird, but there's a lot of like sexual tension between the two guys. And it's that, clear because like Zendaya finesses and makes them like make out. In every scene they're talking about Zendaya, right? Every, every scene that they're in up until yeah. they're actually playing a tennis match against each other in the ending is just talking about her. But in every one of those scenes, they're like, there's a very clear like camera cutaway of somebody like pulling his chair closer, or like he's got the churro in his yeah, hand. That, he's like, eat that the was churro. very intentional and intimate. And, yeah, and, and, but like none of them would seem but like they were making a move. It didn't resolve. It, no, like there was no like, all right, we're building to this. It was yeah. just like, uh-huh, I'm pulling you close. <laughs> this is another one of those movies that's like not in our wheelhouse. No, so it's it's very strange like, to talk about in like a formal sense. A fair warning, like <laughs> if you haven't seen this and you're watching this in order to go view this, like. The trailer very much emphasizes, like, sexuality on Zendaya's part and things like that. And that. yes, that there is some of that in this movie, but this, this most of the sexual this is a tension movie. and whatever is between the two guys. This is like a sports drama um, all about tennis, which I really didn't give yeah. a fuck about until I saw this movie. But, like... And it made me... 
kind of it, care. It's really it's a love story on every level. Yeah, because it's the love of the, the sport. It's a love of the people. It's yeah. everything about it. I fucking hated the ending. I hated it so much. Come on, because she did that fucking yell that she had the come on yell that she did earlier in the film, and I'm like, that's not how you end that. You still <laughs> cheated on him. This Again. guy still wants to be with you. He may retire next week. I want to know if he wins that next tournament because I'm invested in I, this. I'm now. invested. I want to see what the fuck happens. Yeah, and you're just like. She did her scream. We're good. I'm like, wait, so even How though, is that the book ending? Like, are you telling me that even though 90% of this film was focused on these two dudes rather than her, the story was actually her story? Like, what what's going on here? Like, it didn't know which direction it wanted to go in. It was, it was torn between, like, loving sports drama or Zendaya biopic, and it couldn't decide up until the ending. Yeah, also, were they, like, was this based on a true story? I didn't hear anything, so I'm going to say no. Because, like, it seemed like it was totally it plausible. It seemed like it could be completely yeah. realistic. Can we talk about the one thing I hated? The cinematography, I get it. Right? The slow-mo, I get it. Even the music, because it would come in at very specific times. Oh, no, we're going to gonna have to talk about that. Try and, like, emphasize certain emotions or certain events happening. There are such weird camera things that this movie does that it feels so out of place. There's a first person moment. I, I've never seen a first person I fucking that, tennis though. video I, game. That was I so fucking cool. hated that. It was so cool. No, hated it. Okay. And then there was there was a first person moment, but you were, <laughs> it's point of view. I'm the tennis ball. And you're <laughs> playing tennis. They did it in B movie. What the hell? <laughs> really? When he's on the tennis ball and they're playing tennis and he's like, uh, yeah, it, no, no, I fucking hated that. Okay. Up until the transition, right? There's a really nice transition of them hitting, hitting the fucking tennis yeah. ball. And then he goes, hit. And then the camera cuts to above them and then you're watching it like a top down video game. That I fucking love. But man, I've never gotten so <laughs> nauseous in a movie so quickly. Not once for me. Um, <laughs> what was really funny is the first tennis match that they show, the first couple minutes of it, I'm like, okay. They're going to do this. They're going to make it like a sports movie. It's going to be like iconic. It's going to be tense. It's going to be whatever. And then they go, <coughs> yeah, the one and they're going back and forth. The one dude's Arthur's fucking like grunting. But that's not, tennis. I've, like I've heard that. Uh, in I, I know that's what it is, but it's it's so awkward because the one guy's like ah, 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 which also felt very sexual for <laughs> yes, it did because of all that. But they start off and it's that, and it just it zooms out and there's just these guys. And I'm like, I'm just watching a tennis match right now. What the fuck is this? But see, but that was but then more you're interesting. an hour and a half in a movie, and this dude picks up his racket, and you're tick day, tick day, tick day, tick day, tick. And they just fucking dude, there's and they go, and it's so intense. And for some yeah. reason, there's just this really intense uh-huh. like techno song. It's, it's the, the same two songs over and over again. It's the only song, again. and then the only time they choose to not use it. It's like gospel, like not gospel, like church music, yes. like straight, just yes. biblical. Is it when they're fucking? Is it when she's cheating on him it, again? It happened like six times. I don't know. It was just there was so much going. on. I'm like, why are you choosing? And and the song was really weird because they always made sure it was a lull. Yes. They always made sure it was really quiet. Yes. And then it was <laughs> complete silence. And then you saw, and it was always like. The timing never made sense, right? No, no, In theory, no, the it slow-mo didn't. would start as the techno music would start. But every single time, it was a couple seconds of silent slow-mo. And then the loudest, because we're in the Dolby Theater, the loudest... <laughs> or the other way around, where the music starts and she's moving. Or in the ending, right? Because, again, you have to build towards something. In the ending, the techno music starts playing. And they're just fucking talking over it. And just having a full-on conversation. Yeah. And all you hear is... <laughs> and she's like, fuck you, Patrick. I can't... <laughs> And you're like, I don't know what you I would talk like, louder. I would like to see an edit of this movie where they have a different <laughs> music designer or whatever the hell it is for it, and just yes. see how it works. Because that song, especially at the end climax, where they go tick day tick day tick serious scene tick day tick day serious scene, and I'm like, what is happening? Or then it stops, and the guy goes, "Fuck off." That, <laughs> that was great. That was he great. just looks at him, and you he's sitting there silent for what's got to be like five minutes in real time, yep. just in the middle of a tennis match. Just, Fuck off! And it's just like... And they're like, penalty. It's anger, but it's more just like, no, like, no fucking way. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, the antagonist of this movie is clearly Zendaya. Yeah. Like, well, she, she fucking sucks. There's this shot of her going out when she's going to, like, where you think she's going to... F- oh, no, she does fuck that she guy. She does fuck the guy. She does fuck that guy at night. <laughs> and she comes back home, and she sees him lying in the bed face down with her with daughter, the daughter because she yeah. left. 
and you, she gets this look. After of, she had told him that she was going to leave she him. She gets this look on her face, and there's some moments of that in the final match as well. Yeah. Where you're like, she's a she's piece like, of shit. He's like, what have I done? But I think she's starting to realize that yep. she's a piece of shit, and I think she's starting to come around a little bit. But then the movie fucking ends when she yells, and you don't see any resolve of that I, at all. Honestly, like, I was thinking about this too afterwards. What would a Challengers 2 look like? <laughs> Just, there's, there's nowhere for it to go. No, there isn't. Because what is it going to be? It's going to be, again, him, her running into Patrick, and she goes, fuck you, don't come in here. And he goes, I just wanted a place to stay. We should fuck. And she goes, fuck you. All right, fine. Again? That That's what a Challengers 2 would be. Ch- no, Challengers 2 would have to be him at that divorce. US Open that he was supposed to be at. No, and divorce. It. Yeah. Okay. He go, I want to retire after this. And then she goes, oh, I fucked him, by the way. Divorce. Yeah. Tennis player. What if it's like 20 years in the future? He's still like an old tennis guy, the Patrick guy. Yeah. He's playing their daughter at tennis and just be like, uh, I ruined your parents' marriage and I'm going to just kick your ass now. Or we could fuck. See, but he would do that. It would be really <laughs> awkward, would. but that's yes. totally that character. Be like, it's all right, I fucked your mom. You're next. <laughs> he is he such is that a character. scumbag. He's a scumbag character. It's also, they made him look so dirty the whole time, too. They were like, listen, the entire time we're filming, don't shave. I hated it. I don't hope- shower either. So... The one scene where she's sitting there thinking about the fact that she's going to divorce her husband if he loses the match, which I'm not actually sure she was going to do, or she said that solely to motivate him. Um, I'm going to say she was a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, but she's sitting there drinking, and he walks up, and she called him out on it. She's like, you're not a fucking bum. Like, you have money. Your parents are fucking rich. Stop playing this dumb thing where you're sleeping in your car. And then he shows up, and he's clean shaven. You see her face. She's like, I'm like, dude, oh my it took God. five minutes to shave. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Women. <laughs> so like I just <laughs> there's I had I, I gotta be honest I had fun it was I, intense, I enjoyed it so yes. much more than I thought I would it also was like that two hour runtime felt so long so long yeah and I don't know if that's because they were using it wisely and like it kept me pulled in or because uh, there was so much fucking slow-mo and there was no real meat and potatoes to it. Yeah, but you know what? The slow-mo, as much as you complain about it, was fucking much good. better than Rebel was... Moon. <laughs> I also think it's funny that this whole movie was uh, marketed, especially from the beginning, as a, uh, hey guys, look, Zendaya's about to have a random threesome. Yeah. It's one scene. And she doesn't have a and threesome. And nothing happens. She just makes two guys make out with each other. That she does, Brendan. She does. But like that, that that's a pretty big switcheroo. Uh, yes, that is... <laughs> Is it considered clickbaiting? Yes, like absolutely, absolutely clickbaiting. Absolutely. Because every time that we spoke they about went, it, we talked about Who's really it. big right now is Zendaya. <laughs> Zendaya. Okay, we're going to se- overly sexualize Zendaya in this trailer. Yes. And then do a complete do fucking 180. <laughs> Instead, she's a bitch. <laughs> she's a she's an asshole. bitch. These guys... These guys should be fucking each other instead. Relationship, I think, and, and they like do it too, where there's like there's graphic nudity in this, and like they do. It's it, a bunch of dicks. It's a bunch of dicks. It's a bunch of dicks in the shower scene. <laughs> but like, they, so underwhelming, they, so disappointing. They pair it with that trailer where you see that, so you're like, oh, clearly yes. this is gonna be some raunchy movie. They're like, it's oh my not, god, Zendaya, what not, are you doing in this like, movie? At all. Like, the, the, the no, there. I think there's like three or four love scenes in this movie. Yeah. And every single time, all you hear is the awkward dialogue before and after, and then yeah. they skip over that part. But if you watch the trailer, you'd be like, You're like "Oh my god, this, this is, is gonna so be saucy. like, this uh-huh. is, yeah, this is like gonna be like a fucking like romantic novel kind of shit, like fucking." Thing. I can't take my kids to this. Yeah, like Spider Man. I mean, I still wouldn't. <laughs> it's a lot of dicks. You just said there's so many dicks. 